To the west, in the great loop of the mighty Yellow River, the arid Oros Desert serves as a less than secure buffer from the troublesome nomads of the northern waste. Our clever ruler, Xuan Wang, has devised a simple plan. Outposts shall be established in the Ordos region. These shall serve both to warn of barbarian incursions and to exploit the area's resources. Though the land is dry, it is not barren. Deposits of salt and copper are present, if not plentiful. Smelt the copper to bronze and fashion weapons. Wood is scarce and must be imported, but that is understandable given the conditions. Using irrigation, your farmer should be able to grow enough millet and hunters catch enough game to feed the population. Settlers venturing into the desert should watch for predators. Scouts report that fearsome bears have ventured south from their home in the Gobi. They are not to be trifled with. One last thing. The king can spare one company of charioteers or one of infantry, but not both. Choose wisely. G'day mates, welcome back to Emperor. Today we're heading on to the edge of the Ordos. We're going to be building out in the desert by the sounds of things. We're going to need a relatively small population, all things considered. I should be able to get that into one housing block. If not, uh, actually I'm probably likely to build a second housing block anyway. Uh, ten racks of weapons though and uh, elegant dwelling. That should be pretty simple, I think. Although we may need to import a few different things. Let's just have a look, quick look at what the city has to offer slow time right down and here we are in the desert biome have a quick look at the water table you'll see there is none there is a little tiny bit of good water table around this uh, little creaky thing but that is all so farming farming will be difficult but aha here we go we have ourselves irrigation ditches and irrigation pumps uh i'm assuming yep yeah, there we go same as in the emperor they just attach on I don't think they collapse, so I shouldn't need to have an inspector to look after them. But I throw one of those down, I can build stuff over wherever, probably as close to the water table as possible, and then just run irrigation ditches off. We've got some Saiga antelopes, we've got food, and we've got ourselves some Gobi bears. Some very noisy Gobi bears. Uh, and they appear to be guarding the salt deposits up here, as well as where is... There's the copper ore. Um, they seem to only have one... Okay, I see. Yep, okay, so we can't build... Uh, those bears are noisy. We can't build uh, advanced housing, and we can only build one administrative city. We cannot, uh, we cannot build a palace at all, which is going to limit us to a one. So it's not so much that they're going to provide it. It does sound in the, uh, the mission description here somewhere, if that loads up, that... Uh, it sounds like they're going to provide it. Turns out I can only actually build one. I'm going to have to build it myself by the sounds of things. Uh, what can we grow here? We can grow millet and hemp. So not a lot of food sources. We've got hunter's tents and we have uh, some salt as well. So we have three types of food at a maximum. We may well need to import. Uh, Khufu and Anyang are still here. These guys are pretty much the staple of every single game. That carved jade import-export business really is what tides me over for the early part. Everyone else, uh, Anyi will probably sell a salt, which we don't need. Mm, they will buy salt, but it's a very low price. They buy bronze. Where do we have? We do have clay pits, but we have to build them very close to the water. They need more water table. So I could do some bronzeware and sell that off. I think that's how I'm going to proceed. Uh, carved jade and bronzeware look like the early things to make. Anyway, I'm going to uh, figure some stuff out, and I will be back shortly. All right, in the city is in the early stages has been basically set up here. And uh, this is interesting. Uh, it will allow me to build these in a harmonious location, as well as houses in a harmonious location. So I do quite enjoy uh, building on the desert. That's quite convenient. Uh, the only downside, of course, is that wells do need to be built Oh, with a little bit of water table. I cannot build a well out here. So that means I do need to, uh, very much like uh, like uh, Pharaoh, I do need to actually have a well somewhere in an accessible area. So that sort of limits my housing blocks slightly. It looks like Hal has become an ally with us. They will buy silk. Can I get silk? I can't grow silk. Although, I'm going to need to export stuff. Salt's not worth very much to me. Bronzeware kind of is. 
It's a little difficult to get. Um, I have an interesting idea. I have an interesting idea. I don't know if it's going to work. Now, based on trade in the last mission. So what happened there, I discovered that I can play around quite significantly with the prices of things. Now, what I wonder is if I'm going to be able to buy and sell something. Now, obviously, something that's very, very cheap, like salt or game meat or rice, really wouldn't be worth the effort. Uh, you know, the staff would almost cost more. But something like silk. I wonder if if somebody would sell silk to me. Now, you'll sell me silk. I wonder if I can buy that in at a relatively cheap price and sell that off. In fact, I could probably even do that with bronzeware as well. Uh, I could uh, buy carved jade from them and sell... Oh, so I could buy bronzeware, sell them carved jade, and then from here, buy jade and uh, and sell them the bronzeware at a higher price. I don't know if that's going to be a valid technique or not. I will have to see what happens. I'm going to give it a shot. And if it works, then we may have ourselves a solution for the future. Alrighty, gift of wheat from How. That's really good. 14 wheat will... Uh, don't have enough storage space for the entire gift. What we'll do, that's everyone rejecting, a couple of trade bits opening up there. I'm going to up our maximum wheat storage to uh, 16 will do for now. Just because I won't be growing it, it won't really be a concern. Now, I've also just thrown down, if I can get this stuff in position, I've thrown down... Do I want that bridge to be useful for anything? I think I'll leave it there for the time being. Uh, this should irrigate all of our places here. So it's now 54% fertile. Which is... I'm not sure if that makes a difference or not. It doesn't seem to up fertility at all. Uh, those antelope are making an annoying sound. Um, now I've lost my train of thought. Those bloody antelope. Uh, now it doesn't seem to up our fertility at all. Maybe it increases production or something. I'm not really sure just yet. Uh, a gift of wheat. I can accept all of that. That's brilliant. Now, that'll allow me to throw down a shop, a food shop, immediately. I can probably get... I think I'll just throw it there for now. And uh, that'll buy us time to level these guys up and get a uh, get a larger block here. I don't want to burn through all our food too quickly. So I'm not going to level these guys up just yet. Just double check our coverage is good. Let's just see everyone... Yep, we've got very good ancestral coverage for now. I'm going to need to keep our gods happy, but we're not really producing anything. So where are we going to get our money from? Hmm. I really do want to get into weapons early. I suspect this might be a military thing. I'm not really sure what to expect here. So to that end, I think copper mining is going to be the way to go. And it looks like there are little bits of copper here close. So I don't need to go too close to the bears. <laughs> Check out that bear. <laughs> That's just weird. Uh, now those bears are going to kill our people very, very quickly if we're not careful. So to that end, we're going to throw down a bunch of weaponsmiths here. I don't want too many of them. I think three should be more than sufficient. And we'll throw down a warehouse somewhere if I can find it. Ah, uh, it's a pain in the ass. In that case, we'll throw that there and just connect you there. What we'll do is also... Not worry about that festival just yet. I think I'll throw down a blocker there. Not that it matters too much. Now, we've got our weapons coming in. You can accept. You can accept weapons up to... May as well go up to max for now. I do just want the weapons. I'm going to throw down our military almost straight away. I need two staff. I've got the staff coming in. Excellent. So, to that end... Now, chariots will require... Uh, I'm going to have to block a couple of you guys out. Chariots will require timber, which we don't have. So we're going to throw down... If I can... <sighs> Bloody people in the way. Uh, it's not going to be harmoniously placed, but it's only one building, so I will... I'll get over that. 40 employees, we're doing well. Now, what we're going to need is military... And we're going to go infantry. Simply because infantry are far easier to place down. Uh... Can I get you in? There we go. Got that placed. And you are now touching the road. We should be able to smash that out. Get ourselves a military. Now, that's going to be the only military thing we have. So, I need to be very, very careful with it. Uh, 
Chariots would probably be useful to hunt these guys down, but uh, infantry I think are better in combat, at least for my current skill level. What I'm going to need to do next is begin to trade, because we have a lot of unemployment building up, hopefully. Actually, what we're going to do now is build these up to halfway. Because I don't need, I'm not going to have any other food types going in. I may have salt at a later date, but for the time being, that'll do for us. Okay, then food has just been dropped down. We're ready to start a massive unemployment binge here. So the people will be coming in from the south. It'll allow them to come up here across this bridge and over to here where we're going to be doing our trading. Now I want our bronze to come down here and we're going to throw in a bunch of clay mines. We've got clay pits here. I think that should be sufficient. I don't want... Um, what's the word? I don't want... Um, Ceramics to be made necessarily. Employees needed, that doesn't bother me. They will sort themselves out shortly. Now, I don't want ceramics to be done necessarily. That may come in later. For the time being, though, what we're going to do is throw a little roadblock here and we're going to do some bronze smelters, whatever you call them, bronzeware makers. There we go, bronzeware makers. That'll get a couple of these down and we should be able to do pretty good import export here. I think that is sufficient these guys should accept it all we're gonna need a couple more bronze or copper miners but that'll come at a later date for now I want to think who buys bronzeware you'll buy bronzeware and you will sell me jade so it looks like Khufu will be the first one we put down no first of all I'll get to that in time Khufu can go right here import the jade and export any bronzeware we may produce next step is going to be and it's starting to get very very messy here so, what I think I'll do is actually move you up one step. I know it's a waste of cash, which I really can't afford to be wasting right now. Uh, workers, yep, we're working on the workers. Uh, hemp, hemp should be coming in in April. We're a little bit short of that, but that'll be coming up shortly. And now, what was I thinking? We're going to need to get Unyoung, and that'll allow us to start selling the carved jade that we will be making shortly. So Unyoung, I think, can just go here. Doesn't matter, they don't need to be too close. They can buy the carved jade. I'm also thinking, I'm gonna get them to import bronzeware and we're gonna sell bronzeware here. How high can we go? Very high by the looks of things. 360 appears to be up to what uh, double the rate from before, which was 180, I think. I'm happy. To sell it at 300. Now, hopefully, these people don't get too pissed off, but we'll make whatever bronzeware we can and uh, we'll buy some bronzeware in here at 180. We'll make nearly double the price. I need to double check that to make sure it doesn't go red at a later date, but I think I think we can make some mean cash this way. Looks like How is helping us out. We bought in a bit of bronzeware and uh, it, we haven't actually sold it off yet, so we are fairly significantly in debt. But uh, How's brought us back out. Is that going to piss them off too much? Uh, so far, no, they're still very happy with us. That's good. Now, I think 300. These guys should buy the bronzeware and we should make a lot of money on this. Let's have a quick look. As far as I can tell, Yep, they bought eight bronzeware at 300, and uh, we bought that bronzeware at 180, so we're making 120, which is uh, equivalent to, it's like equivalent to ceramics or something, or it's better than ceramics. Uh, that's quite a lot of money. That's a, a fairly solid income we've just made. So I think, I'm gonna have to keep a close eye on that to make sure it doesn't stuff up completely here, but I think, uh, I think we're gonna have a shit ton of money coming in. This is gonna be really, really nice. Okay, and the hemp is now pouring in. That means our hemp shop here should, uh, yep, level that right up. We need music as well, so it's worthwhile throwing that down. Uh, that'll work. That'll get that down, and then we can have, um, get these guys leveled up further. They need music access only. That's the only thing they appear to require. Uh, get that leveled up, and it'll also keep our people happy. Cash is pouring in. Uh, keep our gods happy. I've been giving them weapons and millet. Whatever we have available at any given time. Weapons obviously being a far superior product. But uh, with a fair bit of millet coming in as well. Because we haven't been eating all that much of it. Um, game meat's a bit of a problem. But we're managing. I think things are looking very, very nice. So far they haven't balked at this. 
And uh, Khufu is, how happy is Khufu? Khufu is thoroughly, thoroughly pissed off at us. So to that end, we're going to send them a large gift or a medium gift of millet. And hopefully that doesn't piss them off too much. Uh, since they're so pissed off, I'm actually going to drop this down a little bit further. I'm going to drop it down to 230. So we now make a profit of 50 on each piece of bronzeware that we import. And of course, we make additional bronzeware on anything that we're making ourselves. Actually, it looks like there's a bit of a bronze shortage here. So to that end, I will absorb the additional unemployment by throwing down a couple more of these guys. Okay, Khufu was grateful for the millet. Let's have a look if that's made them better. They're still hostile. So to that end, let's give them a gift of bronzeware. We'll send a medium gift. That's quite a lot of expense for us, but we are now increasing our own production of it. So I think that'll make them much happier. I'm also going to get rid of these weird, um, <laughs> these weird bears. I'll send our military off and that will take care of this. It'll allow us then to diversify into salt. We have the unemployment. And all we need now are the salt mines to be put up here. I think I can get one or two in there. A little difficult to tell because there's a bear in the way. It's not salt. Uh, yeah, look, I can get one there, I think. Possibly two there, actually. And a few more up there. And having some salt will give us a third food type. Although we're really struggling. I think I might need additional hunter's tents. But uh, that should keep us going there. And... You need bland food. Yep, we definitely need more hunter's tents. The other option, of course, is do they sell me a tough food type? Uh, they export gamey. They don't import it. Okay, I'm going to need to find a source of food. How will sell me additional gamey? They'll, oh no, they'll buy that. Who will sell me food? Nobody will sell me food by the looks of things. You will sell me cabbage, which might be very useful. And... Yeah, I'll buy weapons, fish and rice. It looks like shoe are going to be the people that we need to trade. We get fish and rice in. That should be a pretty good import. Let's have a look there. Shoe, shoe. That is very, very frustrating. What I can do here, though, is just move this stuff around and start importing from shoe. Okay, Khufu grateful for the bronzeware. We're also in the process of having a little bit of a worker shortage here. Hopefully things don't collapse too much more, but I think they will. But we are now getting our food in. There we go, that's all the food we require. And there's a little bit of meat there as well. Let's have a quick look at Khufu. They are currently apathetic. Oh, I will keep things going as they are for now. But if they get seriously pissed off, then we might have bigger problems to worry about. Uh, are we not producing carve jade as quickly as we can. Looks like all of the jade has gone to just those guys there. We're producing a little bit of it, but not a huge amount per year. Doesn't matter. I think we're doing well. I just need to keep moving these bloody soldiers around. Get rid of these bears if we can. And uh, get our salt production going now. Okay, the bears appear to be spawning right here. I had my dudes kill off a bunch of them. But I think we're going to need to look at a more permanent solution. So to that end, a... Uh, some city walls. Oh, come on. Can I not build city wall there? Apparently that is not cleared land. How the hell does this work? I don't, I don't think walls can be connected to each other like in uh, like in Pharaoh. Yeah, okay, so a tower will just go there. So I throw a tower there. I can get rid of this little crappy bit of wall. And, and do I man the towers? Yep, so I man the towers. Those guys should start killing off any bears that we find. Okay, the nomad camps have demanded a bunch of silk. That is a little bit of concern. Who will, who will give us silk? Uh, I can import silk from these guys. So what I'm thinking of doing, I need to just import as much silk. I'm not going to bother about the bronzeware anymore because that is just dangerous. I need to get a bunch of silk in. We'll get 10 of them in one go. Hopefully, hopefully they come in within the next couple of months. Otherwise, we may have ourselves a nomad camp problem. And of course, good timing, a collapsed building. Um, probably because I haven't leveled that one up there. No biggie. I can All I can do is to fix that one. Simply throw a second inspector's tower down. Uh, don't have to worry about leveling them up just yet. Now, unemployment is a little bit high. Actually, it's very high. 
but I think 8% is sufficient. I can take care of that by absorbing that with perhaps a few more towers. Okay, Silk is ready for the Nomad Camps. Two months remaining, we'll dispatch that one off and I'm actually going to stop importing that silk because that is draining our cash very very quickly we are exporting bronzeware you will also buy bronzeware so we'll sell it off to you as well and i think we're going to who actually who buys silk you'll buy silk as well let uh hang on no you'll sell us silk you will also sell us silk so if i could find somebody who would buy silk oh, looks like a clay pit collapsed that was silly of me um let me just think about what I'm doing. I've got a few different things in my head at all at once here. And I'm running around all over the place trying to keep up. So ceramics we've got going here. I'm trying to push on to victory. That requires ceramics to go to the next level. We've already got appetizing food, although we're eating it very, very quickly. Hal needs bronze. Okay. Um, you know what? I don't care. How can how can live without bronze for the time being? We are instead going to throw down a ceramic shop and that'll allow us to, I think, just win the mission. We'll throw down two ceramic shops, uh, let the ceramics build up, make sure our gods are happy, they're pretty good. We've got the weapons coming in to give them what they need. Of course, the nomad camps regard us highly. Now these guys should level up and take a quick sneaky little save before I win this mission. I've had to do these two missions back to back. Um, between you know, this one and the last recording simply because I failed to save and I cannot save at the end so uh, I'd hate to have that happen I'd like to sleep at some point in the future but anyway we've got ceramics coming in these are the elegant dwellings that we require and this is going to be our victory a most commendable job the desert outpost of Yulin keeps its vigilant eyes trained on the northern wastes Warning of any advances by the Xiongnu. And there we go, guys. Got a little bit messy there at the end as I started having just a little too, few too many things caught up in my head, trying to keep track of everything going on at once. I had a few too many balls in the air, so to speak. But uh, it was a pretty solid victory altogether. Uh, we didn't have any real problems, no invasions. I think the Xiongnu would have invaded if we hadn't sent off uh, those goods. But with only one military fort, and a couple of towers, I really wasn't game to try and defend that and fight that back. So we've uh, we've won that bit, won that victory. Head on to the next episode very very shortly. So smash that thumbs up button if you do indeed enjoy this content, guys. And as always, take care, and I'll see you around.